debug, full front end uh, with wheel. Kind of carts a weird gray area, so. So yeah, we don't have the money. So let's hear what you're gonna do first. What? <laughs> the griddle here. Okay, I've used it. I can say it's not a McGriddle, it's actually a George Foreman. Uh, he actually sponsored us. <laughs> <laughs> um, like a I, prototype. Yes, like a cheap <laughs> prototype sandwich. Okay. And if it comes out good, I can invest in higher quality ingredients. I like, that's actually smart. It's good. It's good idea. Ah. He'll put some Loctite in it when he gets it. Right, Jay? Go ahead and snuggle this up. And that is how you assemble this. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's a problem. It's fine. It's fine with that. You must put this all numbers in your mom's pussy. I was actually going to give it to your girlfriend. Oh, yeah. guys so today we have a pre-bug full front end uh, with wheel a disc brake conversion and everything uh, our good customer Jay sent this out to us we supply shims and we sell all these products these are something we only get uh, very rarely we do order maybe once a year for the wheel and the, the stem on these things so he wanted us to uh, put this together for him so he sent it on out and uh, we're gonna machine out some spacers for everything and get it all put together. So I'll show you what we're doing today and get it all taken care of and then get it shipped all back out to Jay. So we're gonna put it all together then take it all back apart and ship it out to him. Hey, this is Brandon. Uh, sounds like you had an issue with an online order. For uh, scooter pulley. And um, I didn't get an order number or anything, but you guys took the money off my cart. Okay, so we can't take any money without an order going through. What happened is it got rejected, so either you're Building address is wrong, or there's an issue with your card, or your bank didn't like it. So what happens, it's like an authorization with a hotel. When you slide your card at a hotel, you leave like a an unhold or an authorization essentially. So your card tried to pay the money out to us and then we sent we kicked it back. So we we, we didn't have we don't have we don't have your money. There's um, it's just the way it works. It's a weird kind of gray area with cards. If you call your bank, they'll tell you no, Scooter Swap Shop does not have your money, and they'll explain to you kind of why it got kicked back. A lot of times if the card address doesn't match or like there's an error with a name or you don't put in your middle initial sometimes it'll kick it back okay um yeah but shouldn't it show on my bank statement that you guys kicked it back it did it, it doesn't it's not instant like that it, none of the stuff is ever instant it's just like when when How long does it take? i have no idea that's up to your bank it depends on who you bank with you call your bank it takes i just pick up your your phone call your bank and just say hey i tried to make this order today what happened and they'll explain to you they'll say okay scooter swap shop didn't ever process the order. They don't. They didn't take your money. It's in this weird like hold area. It's no different than with if you go to a store and ask for you know you want an online refund. It typically takes like two or three days. It's not on our end. It's on the bank's end that they take time to to process it. So just give them a ring and they'll explain that to you. It's pretty common. Okay. Um. Can I call and make an order or no? So it. So if you had an order with it over the, if you had an order with it online and or you had an issue with the order online, then it's gonna be the same thing over the phone. So I would call your bank and find out. A lot of times they just, the bank doesn't like the order because maybe you've never ordered here before um, or whatever. So call them and find out why it didn't go through. And then it, it may just be that you have to call them and authorize it, then you can make an order online. All right, thanks. No problem, have a good day. Bye. We get these calls all the time. They make orders and the billing zip code is wrong or the bank doesn't like it and then they think that we took their money when we didn't. So we get some people that will just yell at us and say, give me my money back, you took my money. But um, it's a weird, credit card to a weird gray area. So. so yeah, we don't have your money. Okay, so what's the plan? Okay. So let's hear what you're gonna do first. What? <laughs> McGriddle here. 
Okay, I've used it. I can say it's not a McGriddle, it's actually a George Foreman. Uh, he actually sponsored us. <laughs> um, so I went to the store. Okay. And I bought waffles. Wait, wait, how did, like, you're talking Eggo waffles, yes. like toaster ones? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And other breakfast sandwich supplies. Like frozen sausages? Yes. Oh, did you get the frozen eggs, the frozen scrambled eggs too? No, I, I was looking for those, uh, I couldn't find them. Yeah. Well, so you can make it at home and then bring that in. Well, okay. My, my theory is, is that I can make a one with poor quality ingredients first before I invest. Too much money into like a prototype. Food. Yes, like a cheap <laughs> prototype sandwich. Okay. And if it comes out good, I can invest in higher quality ingredients. I like that's good, actually smart. That's good. It's a good idea. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Okay, so what do you what do you have? Some supplies. You'll see later. Okay, and you're gonna make a waffle breakfast sandwich uh -huh. for lunch. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Me too. Okay, we'll convene back when the cooking begins. Have we tried the new? Have we tried it? Has it come out yet? What? The no. the stolen. Uh, it's not stolen. I'm pretty sure it's stolen. We didn't steal it. Well, we didn't steal it, but I'm pretty sure somebody else did. All right, we're upgraded now. It's deciding where it's gonna go. Yeah, it's thinking about. It. Oh, there it goes. All right. It sounds like it's got something stuck in it already. So went ahead and put this in the vise. Uh, made sure to wrap a thick rag around the stem so it doesn't move around. Um, it's pretty snug. It, it, I could technically pull it off. So uh, just if you're going to be doing something like this, make sure that it's definitely secure. And then we're going to go ahead and put our shims in and put our forks in. These fork shims, this little uh, lip, this little edge here goes at the very top of your fork. So in this case, in scenario, it's going to be going down. Uh, you always want to put the split with the split of the actual fork assembly here. And the brake side goes on the driver side in America, on the left hand side if you're sitting on the bike. And install our brake side. Just little taps until it is flush with the top. and put our rotor on. And Jay's got these awesome NCUI caliper bolts. These are also offered on our website. And we're gonna go ahead and put some Loctite on it. Even though we're gonna be taking these back out, it will just assist him when he's putting them back in. He'll put some Loctite in it when he gets it. Right, Jay? You don't need to get this crazy tight, you just need to get it snug. So today, we're doing something we've never done before. We're gonna give away two bikes. The first bike is the Prebug. Once we hit 40,000 subscribers, we're gonna give it away to one of you guys. Now bike number two is the Bug Eye. This bike has a bunch of aftermarket parts. How you win this bike is just as easy. You already shop at ScooterSwapShop.com. So every dollar you spend on the store is one point entered in to win. Not ready. What do you got here? Some waffles. High quality stuff. Mm. Dato's de nutrition. <clears throat> I think that thing is drunk. Look at this. Oh, it's backing up. Look at it. Oh, wait. It was lined up right. Now it's going to suck the dirt out. Is that? No. I got some cheese. I feel like I bought more stuff. Where's you got sausage in there? Oh, there it goes. You got sausage in there? I thought you said there was sausage. Yeah. You should have gotten the patties. I know. All right. A How about it? I want to see what the result is. All right. No eggs because uh, they didn't have. It's all right. So I went from the grocery store to here, and there's no way I could put eggs here. Put it in there. Okay, that's the plan. Okay. 
all the freezer burned ingredients. Mm. Ooh, hold on. Wind cow. What's wrong? It just put it in there. It's where the poor people shop. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a problem. It's fine. It's fine. Look at that. It's just so is, it, is, it, is it compressing? Uh huh. Definitely. Do you think that the well, okay, no, here's the problem. You should have cooked the sausage first. I know. Because now know. you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a hot sandwich with frozen sausage <laughs> on the inside. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just gonna leave it there for 20 minutes. What's the name of the grill? Chef George. It's not Chef George. What's yeah, it called? It Chef George. George Foreman. Yes, yeah, Chef George Foreman. You got a waffle sandwich? Pink waffle, frozen yeah. waffle. You know, it's gonna be a hot sandwich, but then the sausage is gonna be frozen. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like microwave it out. Yeah. All right, now we got a rotor on and everything. We're gonna go ahead and put it on our forks. And we have our axle here. Now your spacer in between your bearings can slightly move. So you wanna just make sure that it get it just in the right way, all centered up so the axle can go all the way through. We go ahead and put our caliper bracket on. Then we are going to make sure our pads are center on here. Install the caliper. We went ahead and took our spacer kit that you can buy on our website, the 12 millimeter went ahead and split it right in the right spot, machined them down to the right specifications. Every fork setup is going to be different along with every brake setup. So if I gave you the actual numbers for this, it could be a little bit off and I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. So everything's just a, a little bit different. Could be one millimeter this way and one millimeter that way. These are the two spacers. Then for the uh, caliper bracket, needs to be spaced as well. Went ahead and made these spacers as well. Once again, these are the 10 millimeter. Uh, it comes in a whole stick. You can make multiple different ones. We sell them on the website. I'll put both of those on the screen so you guys know what you're looking for. As I showed you, we have the actual rotor on. Went ahead and loctited the bolts. We're gonna go ahead and get our axle in. Grab our short side spacer, slide that on a little bit, and you can actually twist this enough so you can see where you're going in. Twist it back, go all the way through, and while it's twisted, you can grab your other spacer, pop it on the other side, put it right where it needs to be, and push that all the way through. And it's just got a little tiny bit of hair play because it's not tightened down and that's perfect that's how you want it when you make the spacers now we're going to take our spacers our bracket and our bolts we're going to go ahead and get the bracket put on so you put the bracket and the spacer like so so we'll start with the upper one put that in just finger tight on these the other one on the bottom Trying to make it so you guys can see the spacer slightly in. Finger tighten this. You don't want it all the way tight, just have it like a little bit loose. And then take a caliper and it fits a little snug, so just kind of get it there. Slide it on, rotate it around, bolts. Go ahead and snug all this up. And that is how you assemble this. So to reiterate, you got your spacers up here. You got your bolts, goes through the fork, through the spacer and into the caliper bracket. And you have one down here. And then you're gonna have a wheel spacer on this side and a wheel spacer on this side. And if you back up, you can see it's nice and center. And so now we're going to go ahead and disassemble this and pack it up. And Paul is going to ship it out to Jay down in California. And he's going to have all the stopping power he needs.
Now, if this is something you want to get done, um, we are going to be working on getting wheels and the, uh, the steering stems and everything for another shipment at some point this year. But if you need this done, you can send it in to us. Uh, it's, we charge about an hour of labor time, uh, depending on the setup, but it's usually just about an hour. Um, the, like I said, the spacers are on our website and uh, every bit and piece pretty much is on the website as well, um, besides the wheel and the stem current. But they will come back in stock at some point. We do have the forks, uh, a couple different styles. Uh, so if you have any questions whatsoever, you can give us a call at the shop or you can email Paul and he can get you all the parts you need. It's paul at scooterswapshop.com. All right, thanks guys. Well, let's see this. This could be a success, Paul. Could be. Um, you definitely could, don't do the syrup beforehand. You mean syrup? Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. I told you. Did I not tell you? you told me not because to. it's sugar and sugar burns. Well, yeah, and it leaked through. So there's a little bit of seepage. Syrup, syrup seepage? Like soaked in. Okay. Is it? So, I can't believe the sausage compressed. What happened? They were round. Is it in there? All right. It's in there. All right. Let's um, see. Let's well, see. My, my concern is, is that the sausage is. They're hot. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, and hey, who told you to buy a sandwich grill? Brandon, but yeah. who told me to buy waffles and put waffles in it? Who? Who Who showed you the experience of the waffle sandwich, the breakfast sandwich? What do you mean? I'm the one who told you about the, you got it at Wichita, and then you wanted to make one for oh, yourself. What do you mean? I didn't get a breakfast You didn't? Sandwich from Wichita. Okay, we'll try it out. Let's see how it is. Hey, you got, a, you got your sandwich, spoon. But it's just a... You got your spoon ready there? Oh, yeah. And your knife? Oh, yeah. Are you going to put syrup on it? Well, there, it's already has... Yeah, yeah, you need more syrup. Some more hey, syrup. don't drip syrup on packages, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a sticky one. All right. Let's see. I want to see. See, this is... Pat's going to watch this and be all jealous. No, he's not. He's on his all-meat diet. He's going to be shaking his head looking at watching this video right now going... Oh, Paul's getting up to his winter weight. <laughs> Oh, make sure you get some sausage in there. Oh, you're making a mess. Well, on the plate. <laughs> mm. The sausages are cold. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you said they were hot. How's the flavor? Flavorful. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Would you do it again? This is version one. <clears throat> I think it needs to get thrown in the microwave for a minute. Okay. Uh, well, I have an American Express and I have a, uh, a Wisa card too, so. Okay, so kindly grab your American Express card and we'll find me the expiration date. Okay, uh, it's, okay, give me a second. Okay. Uh, it's three of 2022. Okay, it's three 2022. Correct. Okay, and on the face of the card you can see the number starting with 37. Read me the number so I can pull out the statement. Okay, uh, you want me to give you the numbers? 37. Read. <clears throat> okay, that's all of them. Okay, so uh, put this all number in your mom's pussy. Do what? I was actually gonna give it to your girlfriend. She's sitting right here next to me. She's making me a sandwich. I don't have any girlfriend. I don't have any girlfriend. It's your wife. Your wife is making me a sandwich. She's ma she's mailing it from wherever. Where are you from, anyways? I don't have any wife. You don't? I food. Well, you are you married to a goat? <laughs> Jerk.